Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the working of the three-phase induction motor. So we already discussed about this three-phase induction motor, the parts. Here we have two parts. One is the stator, and which is used to generate the feed. The another one is the rotor, and that is nothing but armature. Armature is simply is a collection of conductors. and it will rotates so it will apply the it will the torque will exist on the armature that means armature will rotates now in this session we will discuss how the armature will gets the rotation so initially look at here this is the assume that this is the three phase induction motor this part is the stator these are the stator conductors and this inside part is the rotor that rotor may be two things one is the square root gauge induction motor it may be the slip ring induction motor you know the difference between this square root gauge induction motor and slip ring induction motor you know the difference first initially initially we should give we should give the input what is the input for this input is here this is the induction motor that means input is the supply that is make electrical is the input electrical is the input electrically what is the input three phase electrical supply so that's why we are giving the three phase supply that will three phase supply will give three currents ia ib ic these three currents so we are applying the three phase currents to three phase currents and apply these three phase stator winding is three phase applying to stator winding which has have 120 degrees displacement 120 degrees displacement so whenever three phase supply is given to the 120 degrees of displacement then what happen the rmf will be induced that rmf is nothing but the stator rmf that is stator rotating magnetic field so in the stator itself it will be rotates with the synchronous speed so i will change some color so some this this is the area here the stator rotating magnetic field will be produced and rotates with the synchronous speed it will be rotates in the synchronous speed okay so here that rotating magnetic field consisting uh, before that stator rmf the stator rotating magnetic field have the stator mmf that value you know that fr equal 3 by 2 cos theta minus omega t this stator rotating magnetic mmf this is about the stator mmf stator resultant mmf will produce the stator flux stator rotating flux rotating magnetic field stator rmf that will produce the stator rotating magnetic field that has the magnitude is 5m by 2 5m 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 means you know it has three phase winding that's why 3 by 2 into 5m 3 by 2 into 5m and the stator rmf will rotates in the air gap air gap between the stator and rotor with the speed of so it will rotate with the speed of synchronous speed synchronous speed how it synchronous speed how, how can we represent the speed of the rmf speed of stator rmf will be represented like this that is 120f by p 120f by p so whenever three phase supply is given to this then stator rmf the field will be produced here that field will be rotates with the speed of 120f by 2 so if you observe here stator is just to observe stator has winding the supply when you giving the stator is nothing but stator consisting of simply winding so in the stator emf will be induced whenever the windings are there automatically emf e first emf induced in stator so we can give that emf is value like this that is es by phase stator emf per phase 
value is like this that is 4.44 into state r frequency into and 51 state r flux into tons of state r ts means tons of state r into kws simply so how it is this is es by phase state r phase then state r supply frequency supply frequency and phi 1 is state r flux state r flux and ts is state r turns state r turns here kws is simply state r winding factor we can name it as the state r winding factor generally the state r winding is combination of two winding factors that is short peak winding and with the distributed winding so by by multiplying these two windings we will get the state r winding factor kws that is short pitch winding combination of the distributor winding okay yes we have the particular formulas for this we can discuss no problem at all and we can give the formulas also kp value kp value directly we will write the formula kc alpha by 2 and kd value equal sin m beta by 2 by m sin beta by 2 so this is the kd so these are the useful while we are doing the problems doing the problems okay so now next here whenever we are giving just just observe here here three phase flux is rotating uh, three phase data flux is rotating here rotor has windings rotor has winding whenever the there is a relative speed between the flux and the rotor windings that emf will be induced in the rotor okay how how it induces so flux is generally the rotating flux flux in rotation okay rotating and rotor windings we have the rotor windings that means we can name it as a conductors those are those are stationary so whenever this process is occurs then automatically the emf by faraday's law emf induced in the rotor emf induced in the rotor so we can give the formula for the emf induced in the rotor is er by phase equal 4.44 into rotor frequency into the flux phi 1 because state r flux and rotor windings and same as rotor winding factor kwr rotor winding front so here this is er by phase rotor emfr phase this fr is don't confuse this fr rotor induced frequency rotor induced frequency so this phi 1 is same flux as state r this tr number of turns in rotor number of turns in rotor so here you know that kwr same rotor winding factor rotor winding factor okay same you can give the kwr value again like this rotor fitch factor with the rotor and uh, distributing factor kdr okay these are the rotor induced parameters so if you if you observe the rotor construction generally rotor construction is like this so if you take the rotor rotor is so if it is a three phase connection just assume like this this will be shorted this is the rotor winding r r dash is there and y y dash is there y this is y y dash is there and b b dash is there so that means here if you observe emfs will be induced in the phases and those all are shorted those all are shorted 
some emf will be some phase here the zero then automatically some current will flow so here also some current will flow some current will flow like that so that means that means what happened one side emf is induced and another side there is another side is there we can take we can take it like this rotor is closed circuit generally here the rotor is the closed circuit so automatically some currents is produced in the rotor current c is produced in rotor yes so automatically the currents in the rotor you can take it as i2 i2 for phase i2 for phase just striking rotor induced emf per rotor impedance that means winding is consisting of the rotor impedance that means winding have the resistance as well as inductance so this is the rotor current er or e2 you can take er or e2 no problem er is rotor induced emf rotor induced emf okay so zr is nothing but rotor impedance zr is nothing but rotor impedance so generally zr is we can write like this so zr is value is rotor resistance plus j into rotor reactance j into rotor reactance and we can give the rotor frequency is like this rotor frequency is like this fr equal to fr equal to the rotor frequency so we will give the equations for the rotor frequency ladder okay so these are the things for the whenever three phase supply is given to the three phase induction motors the induced emfs state r this is the state r induced emf you can take first equation and rotor induced emf this is take you can second equation and these induced emfs are same as the transformer action in the transformer also we have state r and the rotor in the transformer also we have the primary and the secondary in place of primary and secondary will be become the state r emf rotor emf okay next operation will be continued in the next session so up to this i hope all of you understand the session thank you